I don't know who I'm supposed to be introducing next. Jill. Is it Jill? Okay, the next person is Jill, and she's really cool and, and has horses and stuff. <laughs> short things. So I've got the first chapter in a novella and they do, do have a short thing. So this is the um, first chapter from a novella called Nose for Trouble. It's actually a superhero romance. <coughs> chapter one. Lisa leaned against a street lamp waiting for a bank robber. Finding the lost and kidnapped was a more satisfying way to use her talent. Aren't there guards in the bank? She looked up and down the sidewalk. The least she could do was look like she was waiting for someone to meet her. Maybe she could download a new app for her phone while she waited. Heads up Lassie, we've got a thief coming your way. Sniff this one out, and I'll make sure we have a nice bone waiting for you. Broadcast, her least favorite telepath. Bite me, cast. Run along like a good doggy now. Her target should be coming out of the bank any second now, if he wasn't already out. She sniffed the air for the inky scent of the dye pack in the cash bank. Got it. The smell of the pack placed her quarry on the sidewalk across the street. The bag threaded its way through the crowd, but she couldn't get a glimpse of the thief. Just as she started to follow, someone crashed into her shoulder, spinning her half around. Intentional or accident? A quick glance around as she trailed the bank of money didn't show her who'd run into her. She smelled a dog somewhere, but didn't see one. She slipped her phone into her pocket and strolled along the sidewalk, glancing in store windows as she passed. The bank of money stayed half a block ahead of her across the street. She crossed at the next light to close the distance. Sidewalks are busy at this time of day. Between shoppers, she caught a glimpse of the man she tailed. Are you going to get an ID on him before he leaves the pedestrian zone? The broadcast asked in her head. I've got four blocks. Run a search on security cameras just outside the zone. Look for a male, medium height, tan jacket, blue jeans. You sure he's male? Smells like it, nearly 100%. Tiny chance it's a she wearing your boyfriend's clothes. Match it up with the bank's cameras. She stretched her short legs to catch up with the thief. In the brief, brief glimpses she'd had of him, he didn't act like he'd noticed anyone following. The smell of the dye pack was stronger the closer she got. With focus, she could blo block out all the other smells. Sun warm pavement, too sweet floral perfume, that dog from before. She was close enough to see him now, tan coated shoulders and a mop of brown hair bobbing as he wove around the other pedestrians. The scent was stronger now, but not as strong as it would be if the dye packet is broken. If the Bureau could figure out how he managed that, they might be able to stop this rash of bank robberies, and she could get back to finding lost hikers and kidnapped children. Two blocks before the end of the walking distance, she was closing in on the bag holder. She hurried to close the distance and pulled the taser from her purse. A dusty navy hatchback idled at the curb, just past the barricade, keeping vehicles out, less than ten feet away. Now she knew the scent of the thief well enough to pick him out of a lineup. Not even the sauerkraut on his breath could match, mask his unique smell. Closer now, a couple more steps till she could reach out and touch him. Her shin came up against something and she wobbled, almost dropping her taser. The time it took to recover her balance gave the man time to reach the vehicle barricade. Say something quick. Excuse me, sir, did you drop something? She came three steps closer as she spoke. The thief turned enough to give her a clear view of his profile as he opened the car door and slid inside. Stand down, lassie, broadcast said. Let this one go. Just got word that another department is tracking your guy and they want to follow him to ground. Lisa turned her back to the hatchback, pulling away from the curb, the bank robber and the bag of money inside. She dropped the taser into her purse and studied the store window's shoe display. What department? Why didn't we know about this before I tracked him this far? The boots were cute probably from last season. Low heels, good for running after bank robbers. Cast was slow to answer. Huh? Repeat, Lassie, you've got another conversation going here. Nothing. Hope they give, have a good reason for wasting our time out here. Morrison called the briefing at 8 tomorrow. Conflict from 3. Maybe they'll tell you then. You're off duty for the rest of the night. Maybe she should buy those boots. Sneakers are great for moving fast, but those would look better with most of her short skirts. She tilted her head to read the price tag. Nope, only she could afford right now. She raked her fingers through her hair, pulling the curls back from her face. Thick and black, her hair went wherever it wanted if she didn't braid it. She slipped her fingers out of the tangle and checked her, checked her appearance in the window's reflection. Okay, but I'll need comb and flat iron if I go out tonight. Dude, she's an amp, right? Lisa caught her breath and looked out from under her eyelashes. How could they tell? Nothing about her screamed superpowers. Two guys carrying skateboards stood to her right on the edge of the side, sidewalk, looking across the street as a slender blonde jogged past on long, elegant legs. One elbowed the other. Right? She has to be. Look at her. Not me, then. Good. Dude smacked his friend in the back of his baseball cap. You can't tell an ant by looking at them, moron. They're faster and stronger, but don't look any different than anyone else. But the city's full of them. There's bureau offices here. More than your podunk town, but they're everywhere. You just can't tell. The blonde was out of sight, and the pair crossed the street, changing their conversation to some video game. 
Mrs. Carr was back on the opposite end of the downtown zone, past the bank. At least the weather was decent. She gave the window boots one final glance and headed back towards her car. A man in a damp t-shirt jogged past. Uh, sweat. She took shallow breaths to avoid any other unpleasant odors. That's chapter.